chaos cube time. Let's do this. We're engineer random species. Engineer crystal. Tinker with cubes to combine them with other cubes. After an ally with more than zero HP is created, it gains one extra HP for every ally touching it. Engineer plus crystal. Before an ally with full HP takes damage, negate half that damage. Sweet. Start with five nightmares. Curse of preparation. At the start of each battle, or no, at the start of battle, each enemy leader increases max mana and current mana by 60. That's rough. Every 30 seconds, every enemy with empty space below moves downwards and gains one extra HP. Weird. It's not that bad. Curse of Tainted Bottles. After you gain a consumable, immediately lose it and gain a random consumable with lower value. That's not that bad. I'm going to do that. I don't value the consumables as much as I should. Every five seconds, add one energy to a random ally which has energy. Every three minutes, add a random cube which costs 20 mana or less from the library to your hand except it costs zero. Discounted help. At the start of each battle, add a random cube to your hand which isn't already in your hand. It would usually cost more than 20 mana, but now only costs 5. I'm going to take that one. Just go for the question mark? Probably. We'll see. Okay. I forget how these work. Crystal things. Forbidden Research Stone. After this is created, add an infinite stone to your hand and generate negative 300 mana. Infinite for a reason. After this dies, create an infinite stone on this position. Damage passing. Before this takes damage, if there's an ally behind this, negate all the damage and deal that much damage to the ally instead. Damage passing would be good to have on my champion with the stone behind them. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, it just says add an infinite stone to your hand. Wait, I want to look at that again. Infinite stone costs 100 mana. Costs 100 mana. Every point in five seconds, deal damage to the cube below. Equal to this cube's HP reduced by six, explodes for Two. Before this dies, touching cube takes two damage. Dies after 30 seconds. After this is created, gains extra HP equal to three times its current HP and loses this ability. Retaliate one. After this takes damage by a non-ally, deal one damage back. After this takes damage, deal one damage to a ra random enemy and deal one damage to a random enemy. Why does it say deal one damage to a random enemy and deal one damage to a random enemy? I mean, I guess it makes sense. This costs 80. Every 10 seconds, heal all touching allies for one HP. Treadmill. After an ally moves a cube to an adjacent position, gain one energy, move the moved cube back and deal 0.5 damage to it. Every second, try to use 20 energy to generate 10 mana. Charging gun. Charging gun sounds kind of good. Five times per second. Use one energy to create a bullet in front of this. Lose energy even if there's no space. What is this one? Remote shielding unit. Self-copying. Every minute, add a copy of this to your hand. Leader's phylactery is annoying. Mummy is annoying. 
I think I'm going to put a charging gun here. And do what with it? I have no idea. I do like the idea of combining a charging gun into a charging gun. Kind of. It only needs to be done, like, once. A super pain mirror would be kind of good. Super crystal wall. Ooh, putting crystal wall into other things. It's pretty cheap. Hmm. Super crystal wall is appealing. I don't know what I'm doing yet. All right, unpause, see what they're doing. I could look at what they're doing. This is going to charge up. But it charges up very slowly. I'm tempted just to put more charging guns. The problem is that the energy generation just ends up giving it, like, excess energy that it can't use too efficiently. It can kind of use it. Forbidden Research Stone. Negative 300 mana seems so brutal. Be kind of good. It would be kind of good. 2,000 mana. For my leader. Okay, so that. It just charged with 12 energy. Of the 12 energy, it got to use 4 plus 3 plus 5. It got to use all 12 of it. 5 times per second. Use 1 energy. Oh, maybe I should be making a super gun then. I don't know. 24, oh, but now two times it just uses the energy twice as quick. So really, it will spa fill these missing spaces, but it's going to fail to create most of those. That was the problem. I knew there was a problem with doing that. I could get a wall and add a gun to that, and that wouldn't be bad. Extra life. What else could I do? I could get a Crystal Crush. It only costs 7 mana. That did not do nearly as much damage as I expected. Huh. Every 0.5 seconds, deal damage to the cube below equal to this cube's HP reduced by 6. So as soon as this went below 7 HP, it did no damage. Interesting. Very interesting. Pain Mirror is so expensive. I think I'm going to place more charging guns. And hope that this thing doesn't just kill them. Which it's probably going to do. What is my plan to deal with that? Oh, I could copy an enemy. This costs 48 mana. The extra life is going to mess with me. I don't have a good answer for that. This is cheap, though. Explodes for two. This would start to go through the ground, but not really, because it'll get hit by the mummy right away, which it did. I'm slowing down the mummy, and it explodes for two. Crap. Okay. Perfect. One more hit. 
Want me? This has 20 energy, but it can't use it. This has 2 HP. Do I think I'll get to hit it twice before it hits me? I would if I wait until after its melee attack charges. It just killed my super laser. I do get to kill this, right? No, because my... Yeah, I should get to. No, I just did no damage to it. Why did I do no damage to it? No, it has one HP. I think it hit right before I hit it. I should still explode and kill it when it kills me. I think that will happen. I want to get another charging. No, that did not happen. This should explode if it would have hit it. I am so confused. Oh, that's the reborn one. I knew that. I'm so tempted to get down this stupid super stone. It's forbidden for a reason. Don't do it. I could put healing onto my leader. That would be stupid. I could copy what? Self-copying. I think I just start doing, like, super walls. Which will heal my leader, at least. If I put this down with super mirrors, with super crystal healers near it, that would help. So my leader can take these out, no problem. Um, so this only costs 30 mana. Pain mirror. This needs to be able to heal for a good amount. We can have it do that. My plan is put this down. Put this on top of it. This is now pretty super mirror. Or not mirror, but crystal wall, whatever. Healing thing. Cost 45. I need to be able to keep this one alive. Oh, it has a bunch of HP too. I'm going to copy this one. Put this down. Put this on top of it. So now these all keep each other healed. And they keep my leader healed. I would like an even bigger one for Pain Mirror. Crap, they do not heal me as quick as I was thinking. Why does this still have an extra life? Have I not hit it yet? Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Forty-five mana. Holy. <laughs> okay, I saved myself. Not by enough. This thing will die after 30 seconds. Whole. Okay. Where are you going? It does decent damage. Oh god, we're gonna see how deep things go. That's 30 seconds worth of deepness. All right, so the healing on these is not as good as I thought. It kinda makes sense. I have to hesitate to do anything too crazy with a pain mirror then. Could I do something with a treadmill? 
Not really. With charging gun treadmill? Kind of, but not really. With a super treadmill? Oh, if I put charging gun into the treadmill, except every second it would end up using all of its energy to shoot. Still might be good. Huh, that might be really good. I don't know. We'll try it. Except that this mummy is going to mess with my day. Let's deal with the mummy. We have ways to deal with the mummy. Bam. Mummy should be dealt with. Bam. Mummy is dealt with. Okay, now I'm going to make a super treadmill gun. And while I do that, this is going to burrow down, which will provide me a layer of safety. Because whatever enemies come are going to fall down the pit. Kind of makes sense. This goes into this. So now, this one will also generate more energy whenever shots come over it. Is that true? I believe so. Costs 50 mana. I don't think I need to use Pandora's, but maybe I do. I'm going to put one of these here or a treadmill here. I guess it doesn't make too much. It does make a difference. I don't know. Oh, God. Huh. Energy six. That just killed all of those shots. Which kind of makes sense. I don't think that's actually a good deal. At all. What about the Superstone? Superstone plus Crystal... How would that help? Superstone so mixed with Pain Mirror. Ooh. We're doing damage. Kind of. Am I doing damage? Before an ally takes damage, use energy to negate it. Yeah, we're totally doing damage. Look at this. I'm gonna put one of these here. I'll put one of these here. I'm gonna copy one of these and put it into itself. Super gun. Okay, I kind of regret the treadmill. I could remove it by placing another super crystal crush. Super Crystal Crushes, already dealt with the mummy, kind of. Plus the guns deal with the mummy. How many HP do you have? Only 53. Yeah, I kind of regret this. So, I think I'm gonna deal with that. We'll get that. We'll copy it. I will slow down. Do this. You do damage to allies too, right? Yeah. I'm going to copy it again and put this one on there. Oh, but it dies four times faster? No. No, it does not. It should attack faster, maybe. No, it just does more damage, I think. I don't know if it's going to make it down any further. Feels like it will. Oh, there's magma down here. Magma has a lot of HP and retaliates. Oh no. Wait. Acidic. After this kills a cube, create magma in the victim's place. Oh wow. This is like lava except much, much, much scarier. 
Retaliate 5, Armor 10, Acidic 5 damage to all touching cubes with different names. Deep Rock Armor 5. Okay, Deep Rock counters Magma. Good to know. Wait, did I not kill my treadmill gun? I killed the treadmill gun that was right here. So that I could get a super gun in its place. Okay, speed things up. We did some damage to this. That's good. Regular gun. Super gun. Bunch of my shots are just missing. You're so lucky I can't drop you into magma. Oh! I just unpaused. I could have killed my leader very quickly. Vengeful Antil. We could take that. Area Blast. After this is created, this deals 7 damage to every cube, reducing their distance to this cube. Reduced by their di distance to this cube. Right. It's not free placement. Freezing Pain. After this is created, deal 3 damage to a random enemy. Repeat this 3 times. If they aren't leaders, also freeze them for 10 seconds. After this is created... If I had something self-replicating, that would be cool to combine it with. Vengeful Ant Hill doesn't do much. After this is created. Trying to think what I have that can do something. After this is created. don't think this helps me. I think it's the Ant Hill. Ant Hill is just good. Come down here. Rainbow Jam. Every four minutes, add an add-on to your hand, which has a random ability of a random cube in the game. Hmm. Add-on. After another? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Crystal Magnet. After an ally dies, if it had more than 4 max HP, your starting leader gains 2 extra HP. Inventory. If we look at this, these only have 1 HP. If we look at ants, they only have 1 HP. I don't think that's going to happen too much currently. Immediately lose this perk and open a perk chest. Choose one of three perks to get. Ooh, recursive. Let's do that. Distance shielding. Starting leader takes one less damage from everything, but one more for every enemy touching it. That's tempting. At most, there's usually like two things touching my leader, two enemies. And really, if that's happening, I already usually lost. After a non-boomerang ally, ally is created, 20% chance it creates a boomerang in front. Boomerangs have short range, two damage, and can be rethrown after returning. Ah. <sighs> This dies after three seconds. After this dies from itself, create a boomerang which moves backwards instead of forwards and doesn't have this ability. Before this collides with an ally, this dies and that ally creates a boomerang in front after 20 seconds. What? If I give this effect to something, would it help? Maybe sounds kind of fun slightly off oh but this one's so good I think I need that that one can win the game goblin ball all right we can do this last time my leader combined with the ball like instantly with the goblin ball win so goblin ball costs 30 mana it's arcing after this collides this gains a slightly random amount of arcing upward momentum, so it's bouncing. Every quarter of a second, move forwards. Turn around if it can't move forwards. 
Banishment. After a cube with the same name as the cube above is created, exile that cube. Win. Okay. Sky Platform. Leader. So we want to get these gold things, I think. Makes sense to me. Hey, we get gold just for hitting these little ones, too. This is a cool event. Oh, I don't gain more mana, so it was just that one drop. Is that true? Seems like it is. This is going really well. As long as it don't fall, it's going to bounce off the wall. Don't fall. It's so good. Hit that 10 gold one. Ah, wait. After a cube with the same name as the cube above is created, exile that cube. After a cube with the same name as the cube above is created. Leader. Huh. Zero mana. Victory! Okay. What is this curse? Curse of mana taxes. After an ally is placed, it generates negative one mana. Wait, that doesn't seem that bad. Generates negative one mana. Maybe that is bad. I think that's a one-time thing. It would say generates negative one mana per second otherwise. That would be bad with the antil and with the gun, now that I think about it. Okay, thinking about things is hard. No, it's only when they're placed, not when they're created. We're fine. We're mostly fine. We're probably fine. So having this one doubled wouldn't do much for me. Engines. I could give it burrow, can't I? No, I cannot give it burrow. Forbidden research time. After this is created, add a temporal amplifier to your hand. For 100 mana, every two seconds, a second happens for every ally. That would be cool. It's also very, very, very expensive. All right. What are you? Shield congealer. I don't know how much I care about that. Growth container or just growth add-on. I do think I want to take that out. What are they going to build? Regardless, I think I want to shoot at this layer anyways. And then we'll also shoot at this layer. Do they have anything that charges at me? They have ants. They do have ants. I could use Crystal Crush to deal with the ants. Okay, so Crystal Crush. 15 plus 7 plus another 7. It's pretty cheap to get all the way down to magma. Which is pretty amazing. Speed things up a little bit. So 14 plus 15. We already have enough. That's my game plan. The magma will start to overflow if the ants get dropped into it. There is that. I don't have to go all the way down to magma. I could just drop these ants a good way down. And the ants aren't really going to be able to do anything down there because they only do how much damage? One damage. And these have armor too. So until they build up... And I could drop another crystal crush down with even more HP. What about an orange ant? dies after a minute. That dies after a minute is pretty rough. It's pretty cheap for the mana cost. I think I just keep putting down guns now. And yeah, the guns should win me the game. 
What does this do? Every five seconds, random ally gains one extra HP. Don't care. I'll plan on getting super guns. I could do the forbidden research as well. I did get a free tinkering. Wait, it's not free. After this takes zero or less damage, it deals one damage back. What? I just got a modified one, but it was not free. So we just put growth onto something. Apply poison to non-allies. This damages. Ascension. What? After this is created, first cube in your hand, which doesn't already have Eldritch, gains Eldritch. Five extra HP and Poisonous three. Eldritch. After this dies, a random allied leader loses max HP and takes damage equal to this cube's max HP. Yes? That almost kills it. Shield Congealer will apply poison, but it won't actually. Okay, good deal. Easy game. Easy game. Retribution wall, yes. Retaliate one. After this takes damage by a non-ally, deal one damage back. After this takes damage, heal another random ally for one HP. Yes. Shadow Knight only costs 20 mana. Dark return. Cubes without vengeance damaged by this create a solid shadow on death. Inheritable. Inheritable. So it'll spread the shadow. Charging, melee, climbing. It's kind of good. It is kind of good. I think I like Retribution Wall more. This one's close, though. Inheritable. Consumable. Gain 100 mana. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, start the battle. Bronze Pillar. Damage passing regen. Leader Healer. So they've got some annoying stuff. Tunnel Bore's kind of annoying. I have a Retribution Wall. I have a mana drained golem. Every second, if you have more mana than this costs, lose that much mana. This costs 30 more and gains the following abilities melee, charging, regen. Huh. I only have one use for that. This one costs 30 mana. This one costs 5 mana. What did that just do? Eye of Glass. Every 2 seconds deals 0 damage to a random enemy. Before this deals damage, 10% chance to increase that damage by 1. So I had a Retribution Wall, which took it out. You are going to explode when you move into this. I did want to copy that before it gained the mana. As soon as I unpause, there's going to be problems. It's going to drain my mana. Hmm. Put this onto my retribution wall. I guess. Wait. It's only every second, so I still have time. All right. So we can put this onto it.
copy it again. One uses. One uses. Upgrade must be placed above an ally or neutral cube. After this is created, lose mana equal to that cube's cost. Then exile that cube and this cube and create a combination below, except the combination doesn't have this ability. What? <laughs> okay. Mana drained. Golem mana drained. Golem mana drained. Golem mana drained. Yes. This costs 20 mana now, though. I want to give it Tinkering Retribution Wall. It's going to become very expensive very quickly. Twenty mana. Okay, four times every- Oh, this didn't copy all the other things. I screwed that up. I had to wait until it came alive. I mean, it's still decent, but it could have been a lot better. I do have another one, though. Upgrade must be placed above an ally. Maybe I should just do that. I don't think I should have done that. Burrowed. Won't be attacked by melee attacks from above. I thought that this thing was going to explode. It's okay. I have a retri retribution wall. I should be fine, I think. It does a lot of damage, though. I'm at negative mana. This thing is massive, though. It's not really that massive. I screwed it up. I wanted it to have five times all the other things. Okay, we survived, barely. If I could heal this, that would be massive. I'm gonna copy this heal. Oh, but that's not gonna make it heal. Still gonna do it. That would heal my leader. So now I can copy this thing onto other things. I should just put the gun down. What am I doing? Heal all touching allies. That does not count as itself though. I'm gonna place this down. That should heal this wall. It's going to do it very slowly, but the plan is to put this into this healer. Wait, is that the right one? I meant to copy this. This golem's over here doing things. Mainly, it's trying to make sure that I never get above 55 mana. And it's doing a good job of that. No, it's going to kill this wall. Did kill the wall. This wall does heal, but I need it to be touching other healers. What is this? Extra life. Huh. Okay, my golem's over here doing things. We win. Extra life did nothing. Healer, every second, if there's an ally in front, heal it for one HP. That sounds really good. Every three seconds, create a laser beam in front. That sounds kind of good. That does sound kind of good. When the hell did I get bone saw? Right, because I had a better one and it gave me the crappy one. Understood. Slightly off.
when an ally is placed. Okay, I think I'm just going to take the healer. We're trying to do healing things, maybe. Ammo box. Every minute, gain three ammo. Before an ally deals damage to an enemy, use one ammo to double that damage. Hardened Earth. At the start of each battle, neutrals gain two armor, taking two less damage from everything. I don't think that helps. Pendant of Restoration. Every minute, every damaged ally is healed for one damage by a random allied leader. Kind of good. Kind of good. I think I'm going to reroll. Imperfections. Every minute, your starting leader deals one damage to every damaged cube. It's kind of good. Paper Airplane. After an ally is created, 10% chance it gains unfolding unless it already has unfolding, copying itself the first time it moves. Huh. First time it moves. Every 15 seconds, every ally accelerates any ally directly below it for one second. I like the idea of that one. That's what I want. Okay, so now this thing can heal like crazy. I do want one of these behind my leader, I think. Cut reality. After this is placed, if there's no leader in this column, remove this column from reality. Any cubes here are exiled. That sounds good, but it actually just makes the distance shorter, I think. Kind of fun. And it's cheap. And it has 200 HP. But it would exile itself. Unless... I can copy it in some way that doesn't exile the column. Which I don't think I can do. After this is placed, I don't know if I can. Let's not worry about that. What do they have going? Ooh, they have rats. I kind of just want to place... this... and then put a healer behind it. And really, I need to build up that wall taller. I don't know what other stuff they have. Leader regeneration. Crap. They're going to get a ton of regen on their leader. That is a problem. That is definitely a problem. I can fight this rat, so I'm not worried about that. My leader will take it out, no problem. Should I enhance this healer? I feel like I should. What is this one? Laser tank. I don't think that matters much. I'm gonna get that. I could copy it again and make this into a super healer. Do I have time is the main question. I think the answer is yes. This will send me into the negatives. But this retaliate wall... is not enough. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Maybe I should have just done crystal walls with the healing thing. I don't know what I should have done. Feels like I just made poor decisions there. Do I have anything that charges at the enemy? I have Vengeful Ants. I'm trying to decide if I just want to create 
my pit. I feel like I kind of do. But I don't know if I need to. I need to get regen or healing of some kind onto this. So this one costs 60 mana. I'm gonna let this kill the laser tank before I build any healers. Just so that this would sit down here. Okay, so now. Now, now, now. Couldn't I do something with the treadmill? Not really, because I don't have any units that move forward. I could get a charging gun. Charging gun seems okay. Let's get a charging gun. I'm gonna place a healer. Every 10 seconds, this deals zero damage to itself. After this takes damage, 20% chance to gain one strength. That would be good with something that's going to get healed a lot. It's not great with Retaliate here. It would be good with Pain Mirror. It would be good with Pain Mirror. I think that's the game plan. Okay, I do need to be able to heal this. I think I'm going to copy this. Place one down. So now it's got two times retaliate. Is my gun going to get destroyed? It looks like it might. could create a doom column right here, like right in front of me. It would cost 14 plus 15. No, I can't. It would cost 29. Okay, now I could. I don't think that really helps me. It's pretty cheap to heal my leader back up to full at least. Pain mirror is really interesting. I'm gonna copy this. I need a healer for that. Not this healer. I need the regular healer for this. And I need it to be a big healer. Cool. They could still climb over these walls. This tank is slowly dying. They did climb over the walls. All right. What is my game plan? Every 10 seconds, this deals zero damage to itself. After this takes damage, 20% chance to gain one strength. So I want to place a pain mirror. And I want to get it a healer.
This one is very expensive. I need to keep it alive. It also has a good amount of max HP. So I just need to get it healers. Which I can do as soon as I have positive mana. Except it's gaining strength, so it might destroy itself. I think it will destroy itself. But maybe it'll, it will destroy enemies too. I don't really understand how it works. Retaliate. No. Wait, what if I copied this and put it into this wall with a big healer? Nah. Okay. I need 30 mana. So now, this only heals three times a second? I guess that makes sense. This thing will destroy the rat. Strength five. Retaliate one. Oh, does this need... No, this doesn't need to be healed. This doesn't need to be healed. Weird. I feel like these things should need to be healed. I could get ants. Should I be getting ants? Maybe. I feel like I should get a charging gun or two. Or three. What do these do? Vectri, after a cube moves, this gains one energy every second. If this has more than 50 energy, lose 50 energy and deal one damage to a random enemy. After a cube moves, crap, these guns are kind of countered by these. Except that the gun should kill them. We'll see. We will see. How does this thing show 3 out of 3 HP, but it's missing part of its HP? Did it take half of a damage? Because it feels like that's what happened. Okay. Main thing, we killed some of those vector eyes. Good. I would like to heal this. In order to do that, I'm going to place... Bam. Lots of healers. All of the healers. So how's this thing doing? Strength 7. If I get enough healers onto this, I could drop a Crystal Crush onto it. So the Crystal Crush does 0.5 damage, or no, every 0.5 seconds it does 1 damage. So it does 2 damage a second. This has 49 HP. It would deal a lot of damage to enemies. How is this thing doing? It has regen 14. I think I would just win if I place this. Hey, we win. Plus it had the strength up. Crazed Alchemist, every 30 seconds, if the cube below is an ally, exile it and create a random cube with equal cost in its place, except it has two extra HP and it's flying and it only costs 20 mana. Oh no. That's interesting. Every three seconds, move forwards. Melee. After an ally deals damage to an enemy, lose this ability and deal the same amount of damage to all enemies with that name. 30 mana. 13 mana. I like the idea of this crazed alchemist. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but something. Backup plan. After your starting leader dies, a random ally which doesn't die on a timer gains 20 extra HP. Becomes a leader 
and generates one mana every second. That sounds cool, except that most of my units... Well, no, I have some good units. I could get some good units. After... Or no, your starting leader has knockback, moving cubes away, which it damages. At the start of each map, gain a copy of this perk. What? At the start of each map, gain a copy of this perk. I'm about to go to a new map. Every 20 seconds, every allied leader heals 1 HP for every 20% of max mana you are missing. Kind of good. Start of each battle, reduce the price of re-rolling by 6 forever. Ooh. Ooh. After you lose a battle, you also suffer 3 wounds. I could take that. After you take a step on the map, 50% chance to suffer 1 wound. No, that's rough. Every second, if there is an enemy in one of the two positions in front, deal two damage to all cubes in those two positions. It's a flamethrower. Mercenary Caller. Every minute, create a random cube from the library above, which has melee and charging. Cursed Key. Only works outside of battles. Encounter a trade to gain curses and perks in equal measures. Equal measure. Only works in battles. Replace all cubes in the enemy hand with completely random cubes with infinite uses. So I think... Do I care about reroll that much? Maybe I don't. Trash perks. Backup plan. Backup plan sounds pretty good. Frying pan sounds kind of good. each battle I'm gonna take this just because we get copies of it and I can afford this cool okay cool leave 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 onwards to the next area which will happen next time for now that does it for this episode thanks for watching